Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Ben. And we are Autosave. Welcome to our channel. Today we are watching Attack on Titan, Season 1, Episode 21. <sighs> Rest in peace, Gunther. Gone way too soon and not even killed by a Titan? Kind of killed by a Titan? Not killed by a Titan in I Titan guess form. It's kind of killed by a Titan. It yeah. A person that can become a Titan. I. Just betrayal. Betrayal, man. I like he, he thought it was Levi at first. It wasn't. Had the hood up. <laughs> yeah. Was definitely. I think you said maybe the movement was so quick. Or good. Or I don't know. Good with the maneuver gear that it, it seemed like it could be Levi. Or he just thought that, oh, Levi should be meeting up with us now. Right. And instead, he was going to get his stuff refilled per mm -hmm. Irwin's order. Interesting to think of uh, what would have happened. Or what will happen with Erwin telling Levi to go do something at the time that this is happening? I mean, it, it's the whole reason that Erwin told Levi to do it, right? Because because he suspects that this person could still be out there, and Levi would need as much, I guess, like as possible, yeah, to be able to chase after the spy, maybe. Yeah, or you know, or kill survive them, the capture spy, them, kill the, capture the spy. Uh. We had a few other moments, obviously. Uh, Female Titan was, like, not only was she, like, I guess, cornered and trapped before, but she got trapped two to three more times when, uh, like, everybody in, like, like, Erwin was like, no, that's not enough. Like, keep going. Give it everything we have. An eye for an eye. Yeah, an eye for an eye. We're going to blow off her wrists with explosives to get to the back of her neck cut her out levi jumped on top of her started talking his shit which i respect man and then she screamed she screamed this like how that sasha said was reminiscent of a animal bordering death and that's what you have to be most fearful of and that called a ridiculous amount of titans that mike sensed coming with this sense of smell um, that all seemingly ate her alive, but she definitely got out of there, as Erwin suggested, you know? And it was just crazy to see all of the Titans suddenly lose interest in trying to climb the trees and get to the people, because they heard this call, I guess, for an easy meal? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's weird, because maybe it's an easy meal, but it's weird that they just completely ignore everyone, like... That's a weird uh, mm -hmm. thing there. They also We also learned that this female titan can harden cer certain parts of her body. Yeah, we I can... don't know if it's ice, because right. that's the visual cue I thought I saw, but it is probably just for us. Yeah, we weren't hardening. sure if it was just um, visual for us or if the people actually saw her hands get silver yeah. in color. It was like a light blue. Light bluey silver. Yeah, it definitely grayish. looked like ice. Yeah, and then it did. we saw it like, like a sparkled glint. a yeah. little bit like ice I don't, hands is still what I think it is. I mean, we know that everybody we have right now on our like and like our close squad, squad. Olu, Petra, Eldo, these are people who are very skilled. Mm -hmm. They've been in the Survey Corps less than five years, but they've been in it for a while. They've gone on countless missions and survived. I have a decent amount of faith in them taking on one person. Right, like, how could this one person be so much better? I, they only, like, this person, the spy, only caught them by surprise. Like, you're caught by surprise once, you get that one killing. Yeah. But now they're going to be on high alert, you know? I don't think you could get away with anything else past that. Unless it is the female titan who killed, who killed him and, uh can transform again Ooh, transform again i don't know if it's like they're out of stamina but even if they transform again then i only imagine aaron would transform right if if the f spy female titan transforms again in this instance and aaron's in this state of just seeing one of his new close kind of friends role models being killed i think he would definitely decide to protect them and get revenge would that be like a dilemma like the whole do i transform or do i continue to trust them like we saw 
Well, we don't know what they would say ago. in this instance. It, it kind of changes. The, the situation has yeah, the changed. Circumstance. So would Petra and Olo and Eldo not want him to transform in this instant? Like, Good I'm question. not sure. If they trust him and they feel like there is this enemy right in front of them that they can't beat, they might call upon their faith in Eren in this specific circumstance. And have faith in him to transform safely without hurting them in the process. I'm a little worried for everyone. Um, I don't know. I keep thinking like, okay, we've gotten like further on in the series. Now we're developing our squad that's going to like go on for the rest of the series. And then they're just, they, they so easily kill Gunther at the end of last episode. Like, so easily. Um, it's scary. It is. And I think we were talking about how there was, like, um, in the editing, it kept switching back and forth between kind of the new the new people yeah. and then the, the people that have been around for a while. And it was like, oh, we started thinking, like, oh, they're showing Erwin and they're talking about leadership with him with this Armin and Jean conversation. Mm -hmm. It's like showing you what the, like, next gen, like, leadership's going to be. And then I'm like, oh, my God, are they just, like, showing us all the, like, next gen? This is who's, like, replacing? Are we killing everyone? Like, do you think, what's going to happen? Do you think Mikasa is on her way? If be she knows where Eren could possibly be, there's... Which she kind of does, but she has an assumption. And then, but remember, uh, Sasha, the whole point in her saying that, and then Mikas's response was like, so be safe. Like, was that... Be more cautious than you're already being. Yeah, but was that like a, oh, I'm about to leave? Like, was that confirmation that Mikasa was going to leave to, like, go towards Eren? Or would she not and fall in line with like the orders of what she was given i'm not sure because it's not like that scream was a direct like aaron's in trouble moment uh so i'm not really sure if she would break orders unless she felt for a fact that he was in trouble makes sense um because obviously she got wind that there could be that Obviously they knew there were titans in there. I don't. Mikasa didn't see the female titan. So I, right? Sasha and Mikasa don't know of the female titan? Correct. Huh. So maybe she might have thought it was Eren by the scream because she's heard Eren screams in a similar kind of way. Well, even if she didn't have any, uh, I guess she wasn't like... She had no evidence that it was Aaron. Mm -hmm. I think she's still going to be worried for Aaron. Yeah. You know? I wonder if Armin would actually be the one instead of Mikasa that tries to find where Aaron is located. Since he has... Armin has more of an inkling of kind of what's going on. And I think if he heard the scream, he'd understand that this mission probably wasn't working out. Well, and something else was happening. No. The end of last episode, we had the... Um, the green smoke and pe we had people's like oh, reaction to it being yeah. like oh we won we did it and then like even like the main group that we have that they just killed gunther at like all of their reactions were like oh this is great you know can't wait to see who's inside oh yeah so everybody kind of that makes mm -hmm. me lose hope actually that reinforcements are coming other than levi you know yeah it would have to be a sure sign that uh Aaron was possibly in trouble. They would have to start thinking for some reason that he was in trouble. Yeah. Uh, whether they set off their... They all have smoke signals right now, but right? What's this, what smoke signal do you send off right like now? Like a danger one. I don't know. I'm sure they're... they're I don't remember what the colors all we like, like signaled. We have like the sound ones. Blacks for abnormal. Greens change course. Reds tighten sighted. Like, is they're, there one for get over here? I need reinforcements. I mean, they could do... There has to be one that could be thought of that way, and it might be suspicious if any of them were set off when they're all being told to retreat, other than the green one that's like, go this way. So well, like, maybe they'll try to fire one off right now for help. I don't know if there is one, because the whole, from my understanding, the whole point of the smoke signals are for are to deliver messages, you know? Like, to get, mm -hmm. like, a... Uh, 
info. It's a radar. You know what I mean? It's to get info from that furthest point. It's not, oh, that's where they are. Gonna go help them. You know what I mean? Yeah, but some people might think of it that way. That's true. I mean, yeah. Like, oh, they're in trouble. I need to go help them. Or I want to. I have to go see what the situation is up ahead. I mean, I, Krista kind of did, right? With uh, Buckwald returning like her uh, John's horse to them mm -hmm. and meeting up with Armin. So maybe. I don't know. I'm nervous. I don't really know what to expect at this point. I, we were kind of trying to debate last episode if there are two spies or just the one. Yeah. Because I thought that, like, I thought I understood that there were two, the female Titan and then another one in the Survey Corps. But there could also be that instance that it was the same person, right? Right. It kind of seems like from last episode with the idea that they could have gone into Titan form in... Survey Corps uniform. In the uniform with maneuver gear so that they could easily get away with the heat smoke rising from that being would, eaten. Yeah, yeah. That would it, lend to the fact that it's the same person. Right. Hmm. And isn't it easier to keep a secret when there's only, like, one person? Very true. With the mission? If it's Annie, it's two people, in my opinion. Right, it, it would have to be. I think. Because there's no way that she would have the uniform and the gear and all of that if she never joined. And they, and they kept saying that it needed... They, they felt like it was someone who'd been around at least right around the time of, like, five years ago. Correct. So, I don't know. We don't know if it's somebody that we've seen. We don't know if it's somebody that we've met. We don't know. Okay. It'll be weird to me if it's someone we haven't even, like, do seen we in get, the background. Do we get a reveal this episode of the person who killed Gunther? Because, like... I feel like that's too soon. But I mean, if it's like hand-to-hand -hand combat, like yeah, if it's but ODM, isn't that you're like super soon to find out who the spy is. When you're just finding out there's a spy, I like from a storytelling perspective, maybe. But can, like, what what else is gonna happen this episode? The spy kills Gunther and runs away. Has a mask on. That could that could honestly be it. <laughs> That's I don't the know. only thing I because like it just feels too soon to I get find what you out mean. like. It it would have to be then an organization of spies if you find out who this person is within this episode instead of just what i said earlier which was like maybe it's one spy because that's easier to keep a secret yeah but if it's one spy i feel like that's too early to learn the identity of this person their their mission probably hasn't been wholly successful if they get caught now they are somewhat skilled obviously like we know that gunther really was kind of killed like unfairly in a way he, yeah he didn't even have a it, chance it wasn't like to... a full-on one-on-one fight it wasn't a 1v1 it was like oh it, it, the, he, they caught him off guard a little bit yeah. but so obviously it takes some skill to be able to maneuver at that like to that extent but we just don't know where they level or scale against other people yeah so we like know. we don't know where it's gonna go from here do does the spy retreat after this one kill or try to retreat or does it try to get to Aaron now the idea sure. of odm gear versus odm gear is one that's been like something i haven't really been thinking about because we have the the like in your face enemy of the titans <laughs> but i i imagine the fights for two people in odm gear would be absolutely insane you know what i mean agreed yeah like they've given us these kind of um enemy situations like oh big enemy big enemy being the titan big yeah. enemy being the rich first the poor people you know and yeah. now it's like here's a spy an enemy that's one of your own that's someone that you think is fighting with you it's like a much different um feeling mm -hmm. and the betrayal that comes with it is much harder to swallow <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. Like, I feel like I'm stalling a little bit in talking about what happened last episode because I'm like, don't know what's going to happen in the next five minutes. Okay, I'm ready. Do we do it? Yeah. We just got to push the button and and find out. Okay, I'm ready? Yeah. Sweet. That was such a cool shot. I gotta say, a lot of the leaders um, that are in the Survey Corps are very kind to the trainees. Yeah. Kind heart. 
and like looking out for them, I guess. I love the lines. Cross etching. It's about to get stinky up in here. <laughs> oh. Jesus. I have not seen a single defining char uh, characteristic on that person. It looked like intent to kill, though, and how they oh, yeah. took out their gear. I just mean, like, body shape. Yeah, there's nothing that... Hair. Jesus Christ. I didn't have to see that again. Do they keep going? Are they running away? Just did that one kill and the shock stopped I don't Levi think so. and then they're I... running away? Or not running away. I don't think... I think their purpose was maybe to leave. I don't think they're leaving. I think that they're just trying to, like, not stay in one spot. Mm. Keep moving. Maybe loop mm. around or... Maybe lead them on a chase. I feel like um, every time I hear an Attack on Titan intro, I think of that, like little clip of young Midoriya being like this in his chair. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, did you hear it get a little quieter mm -hmm. with the horses? Mm -hmm. Eren が巨人から出た時の状況を見る限り、できそうもないって結論付けたはずだよ。装備は破損して戦闘副菜なくなってたし。it was all destroyed when Aaron was a Titan? So that definitely lends credence to the possibility that the female Titan is way more experienced and way more practice. Very true. Aaron. You saw Annie, no? In that, like, little flashback? I don't like that. They're going to hide. So they can sneak back up. Petra, please. Nope, nope! Ple it's not looking like Annie to me when you see a little bit of the face. Oh, fuck. Fuck. It did fuck, it! Fuck. Holy moly. We need Levi. We were. I, I know you guys are fucking skilled, but why take the risk? They weren't why? there when Levi was trying to get the person out, so they don't know. They know that he escaped, or she escaped. Be prepared to lose everything. Did they not hear her appear? Oh. I 
I'm so worried because everything Erwin just said is what they're not doing. All right. They're not changing how they're... They're not changing the plan. No, they're not thinking outside of the box. It's not outside of the box to kill a titan the way you've killed titans for years. <sighs> oh, okay. <laughs> Damn! Blinded! I take back what I said. What are about of its what about the other senses? Titan pay. Using the tree to guard its oh. neck. Damn. Information to each other with no words. Oh! Whoa! What is that? Is that what he meant when he went pointed to here? Oh my god. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. She can harden her neck, right? Possibly. Very true. I love them. I'm scared for them. I got chills. I have chills. No, 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 no. Not Petra. Not Petra! This is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Dude, the Wait, animation the just took a fucking step up. Everyone heard that. Everyone. Because knows. Honestly, we need... No, we need everybody there. We... I don't, I don't think Aaron alone can do this as a titan. She just fucking killed everyone. Ooh. That's interesting. That's a fun fact in the middle of Dude, horror. Dude, I'm fucked up. <laughs> Let's Holy learn about shit. horses, guys. That, the Petra fucking... Why does the female titan look happy about this? Dude, she looks turned on. Taller? Maybe? Ooh. She's healing. Healing. The other eye is gonna open. <laughs> Holy shit. You know, two titans fighting each other like this might be the best thing. Oh no. Oh, Levi. He's close. He's close. Mm -hmm. These are his, like, best friends, basically. Fuck her up, please. Oh, 
So much strength, he literally... Just focus on the fight right now, dude, please. This is the most conscious he's ever been. Stop, bro. Stop. Brother I I think she's back to full strength. Mm -hmm. Healed completely. Oh Fucking Kai choose, bro. The eyes. Holy shit! Destroyed this jaw. He doesn't <gasps> care. He doesn't give a shit. Oh my god! Did you hear it grinding? Why? Why? What? What is he seeing? Holy shit, this animation. I don't know if he's... Okay, no. They're not gonna fuck me up again. Then. Oh, Aaron's <laughs> dead again. Fuck you, Attack on Titan. 
Um, That's exactly what they're doing. No, like, I legit, like, so what I stopped myself from saying there is that I initially, if before I heard some dialogue this episode, I definitely wouldn't think that he's dead in the slightest. We know he can survive an initial bite. We know he can survive a little bit, at least in, like, the stomach acids, whatever. But there was a line that was, like, um, they stopped and, like, recon like the Titans stopped and, like, kind of reevaluated and reconsidered after they saw something. Like, they saw Aaron. Like, that's what Armin's train of thought was. So now I'm, like, like if it's that much of a damper to their, pl like, whole plan here... Would they even fucking want him alive? Is is it even worth like taking him in, like taking him in alive? Like, it's alive. It's alive for brainwashing, maybe, or kill him. Like, why take him alive? Why the like, opportunity to brainwash? Yeah, just think of how the military took him alive. For the opportunity of possibly being able to use him. Don't know how that's going to fucking turn out after the travesty that we fucking saw a second ago. Jesus fuck. I hate- Right, like Aaron wouldn't want to. Oh, it makes me think of, um, of Hunger Games. And I'm probably like so off with the theory of brainwashing, but it makes me think of PETA in the Hunger Games. In the capital and like being brainwashed. Uh, and you guys know if you know Hunger Games. That's what it's, like, giving me vibes of at the moment. And I could be totally wrong with that theory. But that's just, like, the first thing that came to my mind is, like, that would be their goal. They could not have shown me another shot of Petra's dead body if they tried. That fucked me I up. I literally so said last episode, like, Petra is my girl. Do not touch her. <laughs> like. I don't know. I, I guess... I had too many personal attack for no, for, I don't even know, man. I don't know why I was so attached to Petra, but like I had so much personal feeling and investment in her that I have, I convinced myself that there's no fucking way that if she, especially if she died in this show, it wouldn't be like every other death. It wouldn't be just a like bitch slap. Like you're dead. Your fucking corpse is against a tree now dead. Like, that breaks my heart, dude. They, That's fucked up. It's, it's, they used her as a device to show, to show, I think, her more than the others, the kind of, like, psychological break that has to happen within you to be able to keep running and keep fighting, even though you're terrified. And they used her and her kind of, like, kind soul energy. Like, she definitely had that, like, kind soul energy to the max. Like, all of them did, but, like, hers was, like, she was, like, the healing one almost, you know? And, like, we got her with Levi when we first were really introduced to Levi. And we really saw her as being this kind of backbone person in a way. And then she was having the most kind of... um the one identifying her feelings so much in her face in those conversations with Aaron as they were riding on horseback together. Like, everyone else um, agreed with her or entered into the conversation being like, yeah, trust us. But it was like her face and her as a character that really showed me the kind of psychological light switch turn off that they have to do to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. I, like, what, like, we obviously saw, like, I was in such an, a war inside my head because we were listening to Irwin say what they weren't doing. Right. Obviously, didn't they didn't know. I did catch that until you said it. They didn't know, of course. They weren't there. They didn't see what happened, like, what happened there. Um, but, like, so, but that happening at the same time, I was like, no, no. No, and they, they wouldn't, like, to that degree. And they really fucking did. And it's, again, mirroring when uh, Aaron was talking about, like, while in Titan form, I could have done it back then the first time even. Like, when Levi was there, we would have definitely won then. Mm -hmm. Like, it mirrors back from the other episode that 
Armin and Erwin were saying, like hindsight 2020, you know, you always know what you could have done after the fact. And then Levi saying you have to make a decision and live with it. I don't know if they could have beaten it with Levi and the whole group. I'd like to think they could have back then. It well, wasn't I mean, the mission, like, but think about it. Like even Levi just by himself couldn't get the person out. And with all those explosives and the manpower and those like hooks in the skin, they they weren't able to account for the self sacrificial kind of moment that the female Titan could have in order to escape. Um, the pain they were willing to endure in order to escape. And then the hardening. The hardening is the element that is Some the trick bullshit. in this whole in it's this whole situation. That's the thing that's getting in the way. Because if this Titan couldn't harden, I have no doubt in my mind that Levi and his squad, maybe with Aaron's help, maybe they didn't, wouldn't even need Aaron in that situation. It's the hardening for me that's, like, that's the one little, like, the sprinkle on top that makes this, like, impossible. Um, that's, it's, I, so, I think that something that could get, go easily overlooked because of the emotional weight this episode had and how much story happened this episode is the fact that the animation was great. Like, the animation was next level, Super. stellar, the music was amazing, as always in the show. Um, but the pacing, I would say, was also freaking amazing. I thought I was watching like a thirty-five minute episode, yeah, like forty-five minute episode. Last episode's pa like I would say last episode, the the kind of label I'd give for that for its awesomeness was the editing. Yeah. And then like this episode, one of the things I would give it is a label of like why it was so amazing is the pacing. Yeah. Um. There was a couple things that, uh, like, obvious, like, huge takeaways. Um, things you want to unpack? Yeah, and, like, I want to get your, uh, take on it. Um, it's like, Armin was saying, like, the whole, like, Aaron transforming, something unexpected happened. Him and John were like, it's Aaron's transformation, right? Um, and more important to them than breaching the walls. Like, that totally makes me think like my first thoughts like there's an intelligent organization behind the titans or the titans are themselves an intelligent organization or that they they have like like they missions have a, they have a plan yeah, they, have, they a, have like leaders that are as we've learned the bigger they get the more intelligent they are and the more well, that's a that's what we're thinking well i mean we got that from sonny and bean even that it was like one of them showed more of an emotional response yeah, to getting hurt because they that's were the true. bigger one so it like begs the question that if you're literally like 60 foot or what like not 60, 60 meters foot, 60 meters 60 foot yeah. 60 meters you would have like Sonny and Bean times, you know, whatever of emotional intelligence, intelligence. I it just like it makes me think that there's like, and like it like it may it paints the picture of like an evil like a, a evil organization, a red ribbon army, a, like a like a you know what I mean? Like it even if it's just like a group of people around a campfire being like, all right, we can all turn into titans and whatever like that. Like there's something that like the way that the language right like how i received it as well as holy sh what does it mean that the female titan which again i think during the fight a hundred percent now I, if i was a hundred percent before i'm 110 percent that it's annie based on the fighting scenes and her fighting stance and like it kind of mirrored their fight and yeah. boot camp what does it mean that she can keep her odm gear in uniform while she is in a titan well, I mean, what they brought up right after that with talking about how Aaron didn't is that it could take practice and or control Why? to be able to do that. Uh, maybe you can... We You brought it up last episode about regulating your temperature internally when we're talking about ice hands. So do you, what, do you think the ODM gear like melted for Aaron? Like That's what I'm wondering. In the great explosion of steam or whatever for his transformation, what if... That's what happened. Do you think uh, female Titan is like, instead of like being all like how Aaron is, there's maybe like that hardening around her, like on the inside? Oh, yeah, totally. If they can harden, they could also protect themselves even more. 
I think so. Yeah. Her hardening her hand and hitting Aaron. First of all, I was like, holy shit, that was crazy. This but the tough. even crazier part was Aaron, Aaron's teeth grinding on her ice arm or whatever to attack her. I was so drawn to the, the look in the eyes, how they were drawing the female titan's eyes in almost like emotional response to Aaron's screams. It's very and bizarre. Monologue. It was very bizarre. It was like it was happy. It was scared. It was like a mix of emotions. I, mean, I couldn't tell how this thing was I feeling. I really couldn't tell how they were feeling. Like they're like obviously it wasn't one feeling. Did you like, have times where you felt like they were like really happy and then times you felt like they were kind of scared or intimidated? What do you mean? Or shocked? I don't know if intimidated like the, the, the female titan, titan of Eren. I don't know if, like, scared's the right word, but maybe, like, surprised by it the development. It reminded me of, if I had to, like, have an analogy for it that is somewhat, like, how I feel about it, it's like a, like a trainer, like, training, like, who has a relationship with an animal, and they are, like, oh, yes, okay, like, I, I it's you, and then... They're like, why the fuck are you going crazy at me? Do, like, you know what I mean? Oh, see, I was thinking of it like, I when you were going with trainer, I was going a similar place, but like trainer with like you're training someone in martial arts and they finally land a blow on you. Oh, like a proud kind yeah. of thing. Like a, a shock or surprise because they just did this training arc and they finally were able to lay a blow on you and it's unexpected. And so it's well, like a mix it, of emotions. It didn't look necessarily happy to me. Yeah, I, no. I don't know. I, well, maybe the trainer's a narcissist and didn't want the person <laughs> to lay a blow on them. It, like, it was almost like, why are you... Ta like, the expression that I'm showing like, on screen right now is like, me? why are you attacking me? Mm. Which is fucking weird as fuck and doesn't make any sense to, because it... Why the fuck wouldn't you be? Did they think that Aaron would immediately want to... Is it one of those, but I'm one of you. You're one of me. You should want to be on my team. Is it like, well, did okay. this female Titan go into this expecting Aaron to Maybe be she like, was told oh. something different. Maybe she was told like from her higher up or her other Titan or whoever's in charge of her, if there is somebody, maybe she was told like, you're saving him. Like go over the he like he's a captive. Go oh, like maybe, help him. Like maybe like uh, some plan to assassinate him in this mission. Aaron. Yeah, like maybe they were told that there was some plan to kill Aaron, and you need to save him from. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or or like or not even an assassination, or just like they're taking him hostage and taking him away from the city right now. Mm -hmm. Go like retrieve him or protect him. So it's like. What if she's like, wait, like I'm protecting you. I just killed your captors. Like, why are oh, you? Oh, that'd be so compelling if that's what this is. Like, a... it could totally be like, a, I'm one of you. You're one of me. Why are you treating yeah. me this way kind of thing? The fight was nuts. Like, full on kaiju shit. What did she do to chop Aaron Titan head off? It was, uh, oh, we don't know. I think it was like a round kick. Because you saw like his expression kick. right while it was happening, right? It was like he was watching her wind up or something. Did you see a, a earlier Aaron's expression of just like like the crazy grin on his face? Yeah. That was terrifying. Um, yeah, she. I was like, what's happening? And then it was. it must have just been like a really quick something kick. Punch. A hard in, hard in the foot kick? What... What was the maneuver? Okay, never mind. I was gonna I was gonna ask what the maneuver was that took Aaron down from Annie, and I don't think it was anything like that. I think it was more of like an actual takedown, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, the most disturbing oh, thing I've ever seen is her, like her opening the actually stretching the muscles to open it up. Oh, yeah, no. that's awful. I don't like. And that. there he is, and there in his eyes too. So interesting, dude. How the fuck? Does, do you think Levi's been tailing her for a little bit? Or, because, like, in my opinion, I'm like, how did Levi not get there before Mikasa, like, in the clip, in the order of the clips shown? I guess we don't know where Mikasa, well, where did Levi have to go to refuel, is the question. Well, and where was Mikasa didn't in we see proximity? Didn't we see Levi reacting to the dead comrades before we saw Mikasa? Yeah, be, be, no. 
we saw Mikasa leave, and then we saw Levi look at the dead bodies, and then we saw Mikasa arrive. Yeah. I mean, Levi could have been there kind of waiting until the moment he thought Mikasa might get hurt, and then grabbed her. Yo, Mikasa, like, kind of kicked her ass a little bit, though, right? Mm -hmm. Like, at least, like, dude, Mikasa's such a badass. Um, Do you think Mikasa and Levi could take her? I just, I keep, the hardening thing, that's the, the only thing. reason why I'm like, how? It literally breaks their weapons, so. I mean, they had a really great plan. I mean, you brought up the screenshot of, like, the amazing acrobatics of this plan. Uh, elbow to Petro and chop over. in the elbow, and the arms were swinging, and it was, like, perfect idea and plan and tactic on their part. Because it's not like the Titan thought that their armpits were going to get slashed. Yo, the fact that the female Titan focused on regenerating just one eye so that there could be a more like a like a speedy recovery with that aspect, like more energy towards that so it would speed up the yeah. timing is Amazing. insane. How where has she been this whole time that she's been able to practice uh, practice transforming into a Titan? Like you said, is there some warehouse somewhere underground that they're like practicing without people noticing? Like a like X Men sure, training facility. Well, yeah, people probably they can't like leave the city walls without having permission, right? Yeah. Or like the people that guard the wall, the garrison would note who was leaving. The only thing in this show that is bringing me any sort of joy and happiness is when they bring up horses. Whenever there's like a really cool horse on the screen the or they do something funny though. and then they go information we can share. The horses of the Survey Corps were bred specifically for them and stand around 160 centimeters, weighing between 450 and 500 kilograms. By the way, Petra's dead. Next. <laughs> like I'm like exactly how it felt. Their top speed is between 75 and 80 kilometers. Holy shit. And they can maintain speeds of 35 kilometers an hour. Horses are about the only way to escape a Titan. Shall Damn, they can move MVP. fucking quick. Holy shit. Buckwald, where are you at? We need you. Bruh. Yo, oh, why did John's female... probably back on Buckwald, that's where he is. Why did female Titan fucking bite Aaron Titan out of that body just like Shallot bit the hair off the other dude? crazy it's parallel it Parallels. means something it has to mean it has something to mean right something. female t titan is shallot confirmed <laughs> no doubt um it's not a person in there guys it's a horse yo there's something about seeing mikasa snap that is like peak anime feeling in my body <laughs> like i feel like oh shit shit's about to go it's down like, like it's like this weird it's this hype that I rarely experience of being like, yeah, like Mikasa. she's like un, she's a little unhinged yeah. and scary, and that's but what it's makes still, it like, like it's great and fun. Her deter like in these moments, her determination is so similar to Aaron's mm -hmm. when like when he's very determined about something. Yeah, I still want to be friends with her. She she didn't she's not unhinged enough that I. <laughs> You know Maybe. who I wish I could be friends with still? Don't say Petra, are they dead? Because no, she's fucking stop. dead. <laughs> I feel like if I was in this universe, I would be Petra. And that is probably why I feel like I have died inside a little bit. Because you know those, those whenever you pick like an anime character that you ident identify with mm -hmm. in a show... You know, you're, like, more invested in them. You're more, you're like, ah, oh, they're there on the screen. Like, they're saying things I would say or whatever. They look like me, whatever your kind of comparison of you and them is. And you just killed my character. Thank We've you. only had oh. Petra for five episodes. I know, I was really it excited to see where she went. Or six, I guess, right? This is 21. Well, we met her back. In like, episode 15. Yeah. And Briefly. it feels like I've known her for, like, two seasons of an anime. I loved her so much. I'm so upset. Nobody's fucking safe. All of them were good. All of them were good characters. I thought we were going to inevitably see some, like, Olo development he where he even, actually was as cool as Levi or, for a even, moment. Like, well, I mean, it is pretty... We never really saw him actually, like, 
dedicated fight determined like that. So I guess he did get his moment I of know. being kind of. You saw that acrobatic move of he was synchro- bad. Like, it was they were synchronized. It was one of the most impressive things we've seen on ODM gear in the show. I am. They I were that's not lost upon it's me. It's like in the Olympics where you're jumping off the diving board. It's just and upsetting like that we won't get to fucking time. see her again. God damn it. And it's just so interesting that this all is happening, like you said, while we're hearing Irwin talk about needing to break out of the box and do things differently than they had planned. I don't planned. know what the fuck that means. What, like, what's breaking out of the box at this point? I mean, it's like a big box breaker that they can harden. So you gotta... What do you do now? You have to um, be friends? I don't know what's breaking out of the box in this situation. Let's all join hands and be friends. It seems like any type of trap won't work, right? I have a feeling that if there's like a Wallace religion, there was definitely a religion that was like, we can be friends with the Titans, peace and love. Don't you think there was totally like a group of people that were like, yes, the Titans, like, we love them. They're, what if they thought the Titans were gods? I don't think so. You don't I, think there could have been? I think... That if we the had cult. information of the in- more intelligent titans, like the armor titan, colossal titan, female titan, then yes. Like, if we knew about them, like, and the whole society had known about them for 50 years, then sure. But the fact that they're so, like, mindless looking for the majority of yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, why would you want to look up to something that's like, oh, you know, like it's chasing ve- after you? It's very clear that they're just going to zombie walk after you until they eat you and there's no, like, talking to them. Yeah. I am a little surprised that they're, okay, maybe, like, there has been all those different things, but they've all died out well, outside of the wall. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Like, maybe originally when the Titans first, like, made their appearance, yeah. there definitely, I just, like, there were definitely people that, like, were like, oh, yes. There's this character in Game of Thrones who stays north of the wall who, um... He this is disgusting. Nothing. He has daughters and then it mates with them. And every time that they birth a son, he gives them to the White Walkers in exchange for his life to be spared. I wonder if there was ever a group of people in this universe that were like, all right, we're going to be cool and we're just going to keep having babies and oh, then just feed them to the Titans. Like, oh, that's, I mean, that's been in lore and been in history yeah. forever of like sacrificing your children to appease this like beast. Yeah. This thing coming out of the water, you throw them into a volcano. <sighs> that being said, there's no appeasing them, right? There's, they don't get any like, they, they don't even swat, like keep the food down. Yeah, but there might have been a, someone who tried. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it wasn't like an ongoing, oh, yes, every year we throw a kid yeah. over a cliff into the <laughs> Titans' mouths. Like, I, they probably tried it once, and then the Titans were like, mm, no, still want to kill you. <sighs> I've lost a piece of myself. <laughs> I, there needs to, I need another character that I... I don't, don't ever show me a character that I'll like again, because they're just going to fucking rip it away from me. I'd like another character that I feel re- like, like they're me in the show. I wish I, I could be Krista, but like I don't, th- I don't think I'm Krista. No, I'm not like I don't know. Maybe I'm like a Disney princess. Yeah, like you start sing. singing and then all and all the cats come running. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my dream. I'm like nervous to like learn more about like Krista or Reiner or like even Jean at this point. I feel like if they build up another character, they're destined to fucking die. If, like okay, so. Petra was hard, but you literally just said the one character that I feel like will like rock'em sock'em robot my world if they die, and that and that is Jean. Um, I would be like I love Armin. I don't see Armin dying. I feel like he's just like I I, I don't feel it in my heart well, I don't that know he anymore. could die. But, like, Jean, I'm like, ooh, he's not, like, a trio. You know, he's not, like, the main cast. They're building up him up with all this growth and, like, um, maturity and potential for leadership and friendship. And if they 
killed him, that would... I'd probably, like, be like, okay, I'm getting up. The, getting up from One the of table. the reasons that it feels so fucking weird and f- different and fucked up is that I'm used to shows that kill off a character... Even, like, not not even talking, like, a whole episode is dedicated to the emotional importance and, like, rise and fall of their character so that there's, a pro- like, a, a send-off in a way, you know? And you can kind of see it coming. Not even that, because there are surprising deaths in shows that, like, even seconds before it, they do something redeeming or mm-hmm. there's some, like, like at least, like, they're, they're going out with at least a bang or, like, not even that, like, a, oh, life's flashing before my eyes kind of moment. No, it's just, like, swatting a fly dead mm-hmm. and it kills me. It breaks my heart. I, it's so strong. Like, right, it, and it felt like there was, like, this 50-second funeral for them with Levi passing each one of them. It was, like... He gave them a few seconds of looking at them, probably, like, storing his grief away, and then moving forward. And it was, like, that was, like, the the, the funeral for them in this episode. The right. Like, um, like, what Marco got with, like, the, the bones scene with Jean, where, it was like, we knew that Marco was obviously one of the bodies that had been burned there, and Jean picks up the bones. That was kind of, like, the emotional send-off funeral for that character. It tends to happen after the fact. It, yeah. Which is genius it's, writing. It's genius storytelling. It's so... It keeps you on the edge of your seat. Because you just don't expect... I, I feel like that's, like, for this show, I'm like, oh, I can always expect they're going to kill someone, but I don't ever expect the moment that it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. The specific fight, the specific instance, which episode this person's going to die in. Which but is, I just, like, know it's inevitable that they could kill literally anyone. Which is how it I deviates know. from, like, most anime that I've seen, at least, you know? Like, that's impressive. That's... Yeah, like, they don't just pick the person that, oh, look, we just gave all this time and attention to someone this episode. Look, we're going to kill him. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, yeah, here's some time and attention with this person. Oh, but they didn't die yet. And then here's this new character. Oh, we just killed them even though you didn't really meet them. Oh, here's someone that you already knew that now we're going to kill them. I loved the moment of Petra, the other episode, like, biting her hand and then, like, the music crescendo and like it. like the opacity changed and it like the cut to, like it cross faded to her face like in the moment then it was so beautiful and i'm so sad <laughs> i'm sad <laughs> i'm pretty sure i could have caught a fly in my mouth during that episode my jaw was i think on the floor. i had my mouth open for the entirety of that 24 minutes and seven seconds is that what it says yep <laughs> i literally think I, I it'll be funny to watch this back because i think i had my mouth open the whole time we try to be as transformative as we can and add to the show as well you know this is my transformation yeah literally that's like, what I, I added like, to the episode i i was speechless <laughs> i'm sad i don't know man Nervous i'm again laughter. i'm a, again hopeless i don't know did you get chills at all? I did. Okay. A few, yeah. I got a, I, maybe like twice I got these like shivery chills. Um, okay. Last thing. Do you think Aaron's dead? No. He's not dead. He's not dead. No way. No way. We already saw him get swallowed and survive. Oh, like, come on. Not the last thing. Sorry. I oh, need to find something. Thing? No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where was the realization of, uh, that the Titan had to be it had to be somebody who'd seen tight uh seen aaron as a titan mm, that's is a that good armin point. and john's conversation i think so also gotta say if the female titan had wanted to kill aaron she could have just punched or something right she didn't have to like bite him you are very and right swallow him, you, you know? are very right you are very right in that someone who was there who saw aaron transfer transform okay i was fucking playing like fucking where's waldo here i like yeah. instantly locked onto annie first of all because like let's go like what we have uh jean mm-hmm. we have reiner mm-hmm. armin mikasa mm-hmm. annie and who who Bertolt. Oh, okay. He wasn't with Krista. He was with the person that's best friends with Krista. Well, I and don't I also think... don't 
know her name. I don't think Berthold is uh, the female Titan. <laughs> if I had to make a guess. Could be wrong. That'd, that'd be one of the biggest plot twists of them all. Um, and <laughs> It would be. I, they showed us another per, uh, another set of people, I thought. What if it's like designing your own avatar and you get to pick how your Titan looks? Well, okay. That's a good point because uh, Aaron looks nothing like his Titan. Uh, it's like Aaron was like, I want to look as elfish and animalistic as possible. And be... I wish they could, like, think of themselves having clothes on. That'd be funny. Just watch the censored version, right? Yeah. It'd be hilarious. Okay. Um, someone who was there who saw Aaron transform. We have that sh that scene. But we're also seeing all of these other people watching from the walls. Yeah, that's true. And... Uh, <sighs> obviously this doesn't really look like annie but I it know. could just be like every flash of the chin and the face it looked like um more of like a body build of like aaron or armin you know or mikasa even someone like smaller like that's probably why it kind of looked like it could have been levi yeah it's not like a burly or maybe even really tall person maybe just like a very average body type so that could be, like, them just adding in, like, a random person who looks like nobody, or it could be a different person. We saw them go behind a tree, and then the female titan appeared, right? Yeah. Um. <sighs> I don't like that, that she just did it. I yeah. don't like it. Like... Unless that was, like, they the quickest you, like, swap like, little out. glimpses of the... <gasps> Ooh, I like the point that it could have been swap. Yeah. Like, what if it's multiple people that are going in and out? Because you wouldn't necessarily know if they're really good at, like... ODM. Being sneaky. Obviously, we know they're really good at being quick and sneaky with killing Sonny and Bean. Yes, very true. Is the lightning for us... How does nobody see that? You know what I mean? So for them, it could just be heat and steam. Yeah. But like, is the lightning for us? I feel like I've heard them mention lightning before. Mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, when the Colossal showed up, there was lightning. And that could just be my imagination telling me that they've said that. Yeah. All right. That's all I have you. Yeah. That is cool. That is all I, <laughs> that is all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Ah!